the Middleton Stakes is next is for the older Phillies and Mares. Ten furlong group two. Alba Flora at the top for Dan Hughes. Devil's Lake Tantrum. Vinnie Gerard, Fake Papers, Leon Van Rensburg, Green Goddess, Padre Hogan, Humid Rarity, Darren Thompson, Missiles, Lock, Paul Rhodes, Mongoose Shop, Darren Thompson, Niggle Harriet, James Shea, No Wizards from UNAS, Organised State, Leon Van Rensburg, Patterson's Return, James Shea, Salafia Stopper, David Robertson, Star Class Rima, Derek Hinton, and Valento Rider, Dan Hughes, 14 then, in this. Ready to go. And away they go. Now oh, it's near side. Looks like Leon Van Rinsburg's horses are going to go close into the lead. They settle themselves down for the first furlong or so. Devil's Lake Tantrum, the grey though, has now got the lead from Mongoose Shop in the white sleeves. And Mongoose Shop is the one that's gone on us. Cut across to the fence. Billy Gerard's horse had to snatch up there, so whether there'll be a problem about that later or not, I don't know. Patterson's return is the early back marker, but Mongoose Shop has quickly gone clear now by a good four, five lengths or so. Stable Companion, Humid Rarity is in second. Fake Papers on the outside is third. Then No Wizards and Star Class Rima. The grey Devil Lakes Tantrum on the inside alongside Organised State Missiles Locked is also in that little group looking towards the rear of the field. James Shea's got the back to Niggle Harriet and Patterson return. We've already seen them come through with a rattle already this season. Also towards the back Alba Flora and Valento Rider but it's Mongoose Shop who's clear by four, pulling for its head, wants to go quicker, won't settle at all. Humid Rarity is in second, Fake Papers is third, no wizards around the outside, Devil's Lake Tantrum now running into a bit of a dead end, also trying to weave its way through his organised state, it's been a very rough race this one, but it's Mongoose Shop who's in the lead, bursting through now, his missiles locked, also trying to come through with a run, Star Class Rima, they've still got three and a half furlongs to go, and Mongoose Shop's in the lead from Star Class Rima and no wizards, now Devil's Lake Tantrum's been switched to the outside, Humid Rarity is trying to get back up the inside. Organised State is flying. Fake Papers is trying to get going as well. Also trying to run on from the back is Valento Rider and Niggle Harriet. But it's Mongoose Shop and Fake Papers. Two furlongs to go. And Mongoose Shop on the inside. Fake Papers though now just goes on. Organised State is next. Humid Rarity looks to be going well in fourth. Then after that one it's Star Class Rima. Niggle Harriet is now really starting to get into overdrive. But it's Fake Papers inside the final furlong. Fake Papers from Organised State. Humid Rarity. Here comes Niggle Harriet and also wide on the outside, Patterson's return, Niggle Harriet takes it up, Niggle Harriet from Patterson's return, and Valento Rider back in third, and then Mongoose Shop, and the James Shea pair did it again, pretty sure they did that last week, well they came first and second, or oh, didn't quite get up, I don't know, I'm not surprised as a stewards in Corrie, because there was tons of scrimmaging and all sorts going on, um, let's see what's going to happen. James Shea got thrown out last week, but he's not got thrown out this week. Niggle Harriet, was it, was it yesterday? <laughs> Niggle Harriet, the winner for James Shea. Patterson's return for James Shea again. Or second, Valento Ryder for Dan Hughes. Third, Fake Papers for Leon Rensburg. Fourth, and No Wizards for Munas was fifth. But those top two, Niggle Harriet and Patterson's return, what a turn of foot they show. They're going bursting through again to... If James Shad are the one too.